Hello everyone, how's it going? In today's video we're going to look at some 3D printed Imperial Knights while we discuss the main topic of the video. And I'll link in the description below both of the files that I used for this video and as a bonus they're free. Before I uploaded videos to YouTube I honestly did think that my painting was perfectly fine. I never prescribed to the two thin coats but I also never felt like if I used too thick of a coat. I thought I had found the Goldilocks version of doing one medium coat and honestly for me looking two or three feet away at my models and I know what they are then that was good enough for me. After uploading what is now my most popular video which was the how much does it cost to 3d print a space marine army it has become very quickly apparent that I am not very good at painting. Granted, in life, we could get 50 compliments and one negative comment, and that one negative comment will overshadow all and any positive comments that we get. There was a Reddit post that I seen very recently, and it's basically a, a guy has painted up a apothecary model for his friend that's starting med school, which, by the way, is... Uh, I think we all could use more friends like that. Now... The barrage of comments that the guy got uh, about his painting honestly made me feel very uncomfortable. And that's probably because of my experience with getting those type of comments. But I feel like it needs to be said. We all have opinions, but it doesn't mean that you should express them. Like me, I have my opinion and that's what I'm giving to you in this video. But at the end of the day, I know that it doesn't mean anything. And I just want our hobby to be more positive as a whole. Now, it probably is, but again, the negatives really do overshadow the positive people in this hobby. So I've gave you my pointless opinion for the last few moments. And let's face it, we're both not getting any younger. So let's get to the meat and bones of this topic and let's dive in. Since reading all of those comments, I've started to hyper focus on my painting and I've started to binge watch a lot of content on YouTube. And there is a wealth of information out there that we can all access within seconds. If you think that your painting honestly sucks, then my first piece of advice is to stop worrying about it. Now, I know you're probably sitting going, I've just had to listen to all of that just to hear this stop worrying about it if it was that simple why would i even click on the video but hear me out when you start to worry about your painting and you go to paint your model so say for example for these armatures i painted the gold trim and i kept worrying what if i get the gold trim onto the armor panel which it ended up happening anyway probably because i was thinking about it so at that point i had to think to do I clean my brush? Do I clean the brush and, and go over it right now? They'll get metallic flakes into the paint if I if I do that. Should I get different water? Should I start having two cups of water at my desk? It ends up that we get into an overthinking and overanalyzing aspect which kills our creativity and also kills our hobby time. I can honestly say that I've sat for hours before whenever I was going to paint the model and I've sat trying to work out how I'm going to paint it and then I started to think well what if what if this happens like what, what if I mess it up which I more than likely will how, how am I going to get around that and I end up just not painting at all so stop worrying about it remember in the good old days before the internet no just me I remember there was a time where you could just paint and you weren't comparing yourself to people on social media. So, I mean, we've got like we've got access to a lot of information. We've also got access to a lot of like studios and like a lot of like painters, like individuals that are just out of this world in their painting style. And while for me now it motivates at the time when I was contemplating stopping, uh, it really was just sort of like, I'll, I'll never be that good. What well, What's the point? But since I've stopped worrying so much about my painting and, uh, and about being anywhere near the top 1%, I can honestly say that my painting has come in leaps and bounds. Which brings me on to 
trying new techniques and take risks. This helped me a lot because whenever you try a new technique, you already know the chances of you getting that technique perfect the first time is very, very rare. Unless you're some super uber talented person, then I don't know why you're watching this video. For the armatures in this video, I decided to use glazing. Now, glazing is just applying super thin layers over the top of each other to build up a color and build up the intensity. Whenever I painted the armatures, I had just done the, the bog standard of putting on the base coats and then slavering it in non-oil. And then normally what I would do is I would just basically layer on my base coat again, but with glazing, although it took a lot longer, and I mean a lot longer, I ended up doing these while I was watching TV with my family. I just I wasn't even paying attention. I was just sort of picking it up every now and then, applying it on another layer, and then putting it down, watch a bit more. But honestly, glazing, it looks a lot better. I like this look more than just slapping on the base coat again as like a normal layer. Now for the big boy night. So the time span between me painting the armatures and the big night is probably like, it's probably like two weeks maybe, like from finishing the armatures to starting to paint the, the night. And what I've learned from previous paint is that I wanted to try gradients. So I wanted to do like a, a black to red. So I'd done that with inks through the airbrush on the armor panels. And I also wanted to try a bit of freehand. Now I didn't record any of it because I was just sitting downstairs. So now I'm going to start trying to do more freehand in more of my models. I also tried the Dirty Down Rust, which seems to be like talent in the bottle, but I've obviously put it on wrong. Um, I know I didn't shake the pot before uh, putting it on and I mustn't have heated up the areas enough as well. But again, it's it's just another thing that I'll keep applying to different models and I'll keep pushing it and seeing what results I can get. And through doing that, I also then went and tried streaking grime through the airbrush, which I liked. And I also bought a few oil paints and I gotta say, I'm really liking painting with oil paints. So I've done weathering on this model, but there's a model for a video that will be coming up in some point in the future. And I'm basically gonna do like 95% of the model in oil paints. What really helped me get into like the mindset of like stop worrying and to like try new techniques is basically I took a break from painting and from social media. Now I'll be honest with you. Um, I always be honest with you on this channel, but I, I really was just going to stop um, doing YouTube videos and, and stop actually printing and collecting Warhammer um, after getting probably like the umpteenth uh, comment just saying like the same thing. But I'm glad I didn't because although I'm not perfect at painting, I'm I feel like I'm getting better and that's really all that matters whenever you're you're in that slump. So these three things have really helped me, but what I want to know is what's helped you. Now if you're watching this video, you might not have the answer now, but I want you to remember this video so in the future whenever you do get out of the slump then come back and let me know what helped you. And then it means that other people who watch the video will have even more information. If I can help at least one person out there, then that will make me open it up more than worth it because this is incredibly hard for me to do. So thanks very much for watching and thanks for attending my TED Talk. Thank you.